Elsewhere, the Kremlin says that recent Russian troop and military hardware movements near Russia's borders with Ukraine were aimed at ensuring Moscow's own security and were not a threat to anyone. Ukraine's commander-in-chief this week accused Moscow of building up forces near their shared border and said that pro-Russian separatists were systematic, systematically violating a ceasefire in eastern Ukraine amid rising tensions. Well, let's move on now with more stories. A Hong Kong court has found seven prominent Democrats guilty of unauthorized assembly charges, including 82-year-old barrister Martin Lee and 72-year-old media tycoon Jimmy Lai, the latest blow to the city's democracy movement. Lee, who helped launch the city's largest opposition Democratic Party in the 1990s and is often called the former British colonies uh, father of democracy, was of taking part in an authorized assembly on the 18th of August 2019. A Hong Kong court has found seven prominent Democrats guilty of unauthorized assembly. The case is seen as the latest crackdown by China on its freest city after the imposition of a sweeping national security law last year. The 82-year-old barrister Martin Lee and media tycoon Jimmy Lai were among the defendants. Lee helped launch Hong Kong's largest opposition Democratic Party in the 1990s and is often referred to as the city's father of democracy. Another defendant, pro-democracy activist Lee Chuck Yan, spoke to reporters outside the court. In this day of reckoning, um, the political suppression is equally to all those who have take part in the protest movement, including no matter whether you are the peaceful non violent group or the braver, you are all caught under this political suppression wave. The court case relates to a peaceful demonstration held on August the 18th in 2019, which grew into an unauthorized march as numbers swelled into the hundreds of thousands. During the trial, defense lawyers argued that freedom of assembly is a constitutional right in Hong Kong. But the district court judge said that that right was not absolute and argued that restrictions are imposed to preserve public safety and order. Sentencing will come later, with some legal experts expecting jail terms of 12 to 18 months. The maximum possible sentence is five years. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.